We invited a scientific advisor to SAGE to a bench in a busy park, Professor John Edmonds. One of the things that happened in the last few months was when we saw the protests on the street, there have been various protests, Black Lives Matter, there was also Me Too marches, there was a Sarah Alvar commemoration, there's also been a pro-Brexit pro, uh, pro one that I covered, there's been an anti-face mask one, there was a Bournemouth Beach mass gathering, there was a Durdle Door mass gathering. Did, was there a spike in numbers from any of those public events that were covered in the news? No, not as far as I know. That's really quite categoric from you, because I know you, you, you make sure to try and give your public health message, but you're just saying we didn't see it. There's, there's really almost no instances that we know of of transmission occurring outside. That across the country, parks, recreation grounds and beaches have been flooded with people. Scenes from the Arboretum in Nottingham, Hyde Park in Leeds and the beachfront in Brighton prompted Health Secretary Matt Hancock to tweet, don't blow it. Uh, what we're getting here at the moment is a rerun of the, the panic over the, the beaches in the south of England last summer. Uh, and there was no evidence at all that there were spikes of infection associated with that. A major incident declared after thousands of people defied advice to stay away. Could this undo everything we've achieved in lockdown? But the empirical evidence when there have been crowded beaches is that there is no uh, spike, there's no evidence that that has led in those areas to in increased infection. Um, and uh, it is the case that I think it's difficult to see um, how things like large beach gatherings and so on, and indeed I think the same was ca the case in, a, in, a, in a, um, a protest march in New York where they didn't really see any spikes after, after that. So um, in, in my view, we were a little slow to learn from that scientific data. And I'll give you two examples. One we've already had, that, that actually schools were not making a big contribution and that children were safe. I, I think there was a lot of uncertainty in the wider community and policy-making circles about that when we're talking back in April, May, but the evidence was there. And uh, my, my group and many others did systematic reviews of it. I mean, the, the schools were not involved. And the other thing, quite clearly, is outdoor activities. Uh, again, there was evidence going back to March and April that this virus does not transmit well outdoors. Uh, and there's been very, very little evidence of any transmission of outdoors happening in the UK. So uh, outdoor activities, we, we discussed this, um, but there's very little evidence of outdoor transmissions. Uh, over the summer, we, we were treated to all this on the television news of pictures of crowded beaches. Um, and there was an outcry about this. There were no outbreaks linked to crowded beaches. There's never been a COVID-19 outbreak linked to a beach ever anywhere in the world.